Now, a crackdown against the LGBT plus community in Russia has intensified after a tough new law was passed by the Russian parliament. The bill passed back in December places restrictions on almost any mention of LGBT people or culture. Here's Will Vernon. When he leaves the house, Danya can't wear makeup. But even then, he still feels afraid. It's very frightening living somewhere where it's illegal to just be yourself. I don't want to live in fear. The 22-year-old does something that can be very dangerous in Russia. He's an openly gay drag queen. But now, Danya plans to leave the country and move to France. A new anti-LGBT law has been passed by the Russian parliament. The main drag night Danya performs at has cancelled its shows. According to the law, it's forbidden to do what we do now. I have to either leave the country or stay here and wait for things to get even worse. Ten years ago, so-called gay propaganda was made illegal in relation to children. But the new measures go much further. Many are worried that even the slightest reference to LGBT culture will now be banned. Well, I've just bought this book, recently published. It's a gay love story. But if you look inside, you can see that parts of it have actually been redacted. And shops right across Russia have been withdrawing other books from sale, books with gay references or characters in them, in case they get prosecuted under the new law. It's almost as if LGBT people are being deleted from society. There are some here who want to do exactly that. Vitaly Milonov is an openly homophobic Russian MP who signed up to the law. We think it's our sovereign right to have a, a legislation that we like to have. Russia is at war with Ukraine, thousands of Russians and Ukrainians dying. There's emigration, sanctions, international isolation. Do you think this is the time to be focusing on an anti-LGBT law? Oh, come on, uh, Russia is not being isolated. It's been, we have a conflict with the Western world. Activist Pyotr Vaznysensky briefly set up a small LGBT museum. He closed it to the public after the law was passed. Pyotr now also plans to leave Russia. He says that people like him are an easy target for the Kremlin. The war is lost. The economy is destroyed. And the authorities need to show people what they have risked their lives for. And the best idea they have is to find a new scapegoat, LGBT people. Vladimir Putin says that the war in Ukraine is also a fight against the West and LGBT values. Repression is increasing in Russia. And if the war continues to go badly for the Kremlin, many here are wondering who the next target will be. Will Vernon, BBC News, Russia.